All right guys, so I'm super excited to go ahead and get into this video. So I'm sitting here and I realized that I didn't do an intro for some odd reason, but you'll get the gist of the video as I start talking about it. And I apologize for that. I am the worst. <laughs> Like I said, I have been really dying to try out this foundation and, you know, see what it's all about. Um, like I said, probably in the intro. Yeah, I didn't do an intro, so sorry about that again. I am trying out the Too Faced Peach Perfect um, Comfort Matte Foundation. It says it's infused with peach and sweet fig cream, transfer resistant, medium coverage. And I am obsessed and have been obsessed with um the Too Faced Born This Way I believe when I first started doing makeup oops I believe when I first started doing makeup that was the Too Faced Born This Way was the first one I tried out and I have been obsessed with it ever since and I continue to like pick it up whenever I run out of it and stuff like that and I like to mix it in with some foundations here and there because I think that the the way it looks on the skin is really good and it helps with other foundations kind of get that same look so yeah but that's besides the point um so yeah i was really interested to see how the peach perfect foundation you know works and all that stuff because like i said i've been obsessed with Too faced foundations um and also it's a comfort matte foundation which i'm really intrigued by because i have oily skin so i like to have a matte foundation just because I tend to get very oily throughout the day so yeah so I'm just gonna read you the claims on the box and I'm gonna do like a or at least attempt to do a couple check-ins throughout the day and just show you how it's been wearing throughout the day and if I see anything that I don't like from this foundation and all that good stuff so um, this foundation says it is infused with refreshing peach and sweet fig in our exclusive comfort mat long wearing 14 hour formula 14 hours I don't think I'll be wearing it for 14 hours just because that's crazy um, but yeah I'll try to wear it as for as long as possible and then I'll let you know how it works but I don't think I could wear it for 14 hours just because that's a little too long for me so and then it says it is the modern way to wear matte foundation photo friendly smooth flawless and comfortable with a soft focus velvety finish it's oil free 14 hour wear oil controlling, photo friendly, and shine free. So all of those sound pretty good to me, um, especially the oil controlling and the oil free. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I've got, I got the shade Warm Beige. Um, I didn't shade match myself, like I didn't go to Sephora to get this, I bought this online. Um, but I do wear Warm Beige in the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, so I figured it would probably be the exact same. So I'm hoping that is the case. Um, so yeah. So I'm just going to head and jump right into this. I'm going to go ahead and prime my face really quickly. I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. This is a, a primer that I know um, is good. I've worn this with multiple foundations. And it really is just like a pore filling one. So I'm just going to put this on. All right, now that we have the primer on, I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit so that way we can see the foundation up close and personal. Alright, so now that we're all zoomed in, I am going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and pump some of this on the back of my hand. And I'm going to try to do one side with a beauty blender and then maybe one side with a foundation brush to see if there's any difference in application and then see which one I like best. Alright, so I have one side on with the Beauty Blender, and I will say that I did like how it applied with the Beauty Blender. Um, I think that for this amount of coverage, it did a good job at um, evening out my skin tone and evening out the, you know, any of the redness that I have on my face. Um, but it's not as full coverage, or it's not, I wouldn't say it's medium coverage right now, I'd say it's pretty light coverage. Um, but I think if you were to build and... Um, apply more it would become a medium or a full coverage foundation to whatever your preference is. So I'm going to go ahead and dot my face on the other side and try it with a brush and see if that changes how full coverage it is or any of that stuff. Okay. 
All right, so now I have finished with the brush. I will say that I think that the brush applied it more full coverage like. Um, compared from this side to this side, this one is a little less coverage than this side. Um, but I do like how both applied. I like the brush or the beauty blender. You just may have to go in with a little bit more um, with your beauty blender than you would normally have to go in with. Um, but I don't really mind that much. Um, I do like how the the beauty blender made the foundation look a little bit more like skin whereas this side it kind of it, it doesn't look not like skin but it's a little bit more bang um it's a little bit more full coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and do a second um layer of foundation to see if i can get it a little bit more full coverage Okay, so now that I have the foundation on, I think that the second layer really helped um, add more coverage. I think that this is the kind of coverage that I would normally wear. I think that it covered up any, you know, of my acne that I have going on and any of my, you know, dark spots and stuff. I had a couple of breakouts on my chin that it covered up really well. And I also have some dryness on my nose that it's not accentuating at all. So I want to I want to point that out. Like... For me, I don't normally get dry patches or anything like that unless I have like a scab from a scar, which isn't really me getting dry, it's just, you know, an acne scar, I guess. And um, sometimes I will get a little dryness on my nose in like the winter time, um, which I have right now, but it's not like accentuating it at all. I actually was like, I went really close to my, to my mirror to look and it looks really good. So um, yeah. Um, the foundation does feel a little tacky um, when when you touch it, but I feel like once you set it down with powder and stuff like that, then it that tackiness will go away. Um, but yeah, I do like how the coverage looks. I um, could probably go in with more, but I think that I'm going to stay with this right now just because I like how it looks. So that's kind of where I am with this foundation. I really like it so far. Also, I will mention that it has a nice smell. Um, it smells kind of like peaches, I guess. I guess that's the, the scent they were going for. I don't necessarily think it smells like peaches, but it smells kind of like a fruit. Not peaches to me, if that makes sense, which probably doesn't, so I'm sorry, but it does smell good. Um, and it's not overpowering or anything like that, so if that's something you're worried about, don't worry about that because it's like a faint smell. I only really noticed it like halfway into doing the second layer. I was like, oh yeah, it smells. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my, you know, makeup. I'm gonna do my concealer, powder, bronzer, highlighter, all that good stuff. Um, and then we will come back and I'll show you how it looks with all my makeup on top. And then um, I will show you the time and then we will come back in a couple hours for another checkup. All right guys, so I finished my makeup and I just did my powder, concealer, and all that good stuff. Then I just popped on some lashes. These are the Azuredo Cosmetics Lashes in the style Vixen. I have a coupon code if you want to use it. It's GabbyH10 for 10% off. Um, shameless plug right there. And then um, I did my lips and I used the new Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored. I really was dying to try this, so I tried it out today and I am obsessed with it. It's like the perfect red and it doesn't feel like anything's on my lips and yada 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 but we're talking about the foundation today so um i'm really loving how the foundation looks i'm gonna zoom you in so we can look at it together but so far i'm loving how it looks um so yeah this is kind of how my my makeup looks the foundation is really laying good on my skin it actually feels really good it doesn't feel like you know too dry and too matte as it says it's a comfort matte so it feels really nice on the skin it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any makeup which I love I hate when foundations feel so heavy um, so this really doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin the color was actually really good obviously because I used warm beige and two Too Faced born this way so I'm glad the foundations uh, colors lined up like that so it was easy to find my shade um, but yeah I really love how it looks I think it looks really good. I think that while it looks full coverage, um, or like I guess medium to full coverage, um, it still looks like skin and it doesn't look cakey or anything. My nose is running for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't look cakey or anything. Um, places that I normally get cakey are like in between 
my eyebrows like right here and then sometimes by my nose and those parts don't look um, cakey at all. It also doesn't accentuate my pores or anything and um, obviously I use the primer which helps with that too but sometimes foundations can over accentuate you know your pores and I feel like this doesn't I think that they look you know nice and it just looks like my skin is very like healthy um, but yeah so that's kind of where I am with the foundation right now I'm gonna zoom you back out and then we will continue talking all right so now that I have all my makeup done I'm definitely gonna you know wear this throughout the day and do a, maybe one or two checkups with you guys so that way I can tell you how it's looking and whether or not it's going really good or really bad um, but right now the time is 11:26. Um, and I think I started this about 1030 so it probably took me around an hour which is pretty quick for me um, it took me an hour to do my makeup so yeah um, like I said 1120 or 1127 now and I will probably come back in maybe an hour or two hours to let you know how it's looking whether if it's changed or not and all that good stuff all right guys so I'm back with another check-in it has been about three hours since I finished my makeup. Currently it is 2.21. Um, I'm looking at my my laptop because I don't have my phone near me. <laughs> but yeah, it's 2.21. And yeah, so I'm just going to zoom you guys in really quickly so you can see what the makeup looks like so far. Alright, so this is what the makeup's looking like so far. Up close, it still looks really really good if anything I still I think it kind of looks better as I've been wearing it I don't know if that's possible but it does it still looks very skin like and it looks you know it hasn't faded or anything like that sorry I'm gonna look at my mirror really quickly um yeah it still looks good it still hasn't um like I said it still hasn't uh, faded or anything and it still looks like skin it still is very um, full coverage looking. It hasn't faded or anything like that. It hasn't gone patchy in any area so far. So I am really loving it. If anything, I have a little bit of um, fading right around my mouth. But I had lunch. So that's probably what that's from. And I had soup. So that's probably from what, what that's from as well. So um, yeah, so it still looks pretty good. If anything, I would say it probably just looks a little oily in this area. But if I just do this... It looks fine to me. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to touch up with any powder or anything. I'm just going to let it rock and see how it looks throughout the rest of the day. Um, and I'm about to head to work soon. So I will come back after work and let you see how my makeup looks after that. Because I know I'll be running around and doing some different things. And probably get a little oily. So we'll see how the oil control factor works for this. But so far it still looks really good. And yeah. Um, like I said, yeah, I'll come back for a check-in after work and I'll show you how it looks. Alright guys, so I am back for my last check-in and it is so late. <laughs> it is 1240 at night and I have worn this makeup for pretty much, let's see, I have had this makeup on for about... 13 hours, which is crazy considering I didn't think I would have it on that long, but um, yeah, I have had it on for 13 glorious hours <laughs> and I am super, super impressed with how the foundation looks. It still looks good and it still, it doesn't look as good as when I first applied it because of course like no foundation is going to look just as good as it you did when you first applied it because it's fresh and all that good stuff but it looks just as good almost like it looks still looks pretty good I don't have any cakiness at all and it still looks like skin it looks really good if anything I probably have a little oiliness on my cheeks um, and maybe some on my forehead but that's because I really haven't touched up at all today um, it does feel a little slick but I, like I said I haven't touched up at all so if I was to put powder on over that and you know touch it up it would have you know gotten rid of all that um, but it's not that bad honestly and I don't even it is, still doesn't feel like I have makeup on my face it still feels really good so I'm really really impressed with this foundation and I definitely definitely will see myself using this in the future and it may become one of my favorites I don't know we'll have to keep trying it out but I don't know if it'll top my Fenty right now but it may come in a close second so we will definitely have to continue trying it out and all that stuff but yeah that completes this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this foundation review slash wear test and if you did don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel 
and uh, like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Also, if you can share my video with your friends and all that good stuff, I would greatly appreciate it. Oh, and also, don't forget to follow all my other social medias. All that stuff's always linked down in the description box below. And yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely going to go ahead and take all my makeup off and hop in my bed because I am super duper tired. But yeah, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.